Hi, welcome to my sewing room and to a new video. Here on this channel, I create and explore all things vintage fashion, currently obsessed with the 1940s and the 1950s, but that could change at any moment. So if you're not new to this channel, you know I have struggled through my last couple of projects, either with the difficulty or how long they took. So, I wanted a win. I wanted an easy sewing project. I wanted a fun sewing project. I wanted a quick sewing project. So that's what we are doing today. I literally sewed this definition of 1950s fun fashion, which is a play suit, but nowadays known as a romper. So in the 1940s and 50s, play suits were very popular and they were worn when having fun, either a day at the beach or catching some sun in the yard or for sportswear. I sewed this in a day and it came out super quick. I'm super proud of it. And it really inspired me to sew more things that I really love, that I would love wearing out of fabrics that I really enjoy. So please enjoy this video. And if you like the video, like the video. And if you would really like to support my channel, give this video a share or leave me some sort of question, comment, or feedback in the comment box below. Let me know what was your most fun or easiest win for a sewing project or craft project. Or tell me about something in your wardrobe that you absolutely love wearing and feel really great in. I respond to every single comment that someone takes the time to leave me and I'm very grateful for them. So let's get into the sewing of a vintage style 1950s play suit that I really think is adorable and I hope you do too. For Valentine's Day, I was gifted these amazing Christian Louboutin heels from my husband. And this platform gives me all of the 1970s vibes, but being a 50s girl, I decided to go with this play suit pattern and this polka dot fabric from Mood. Play suits were a huge thing in the 1940s and the 1950s as usually beach wear or spring wear worn with a shirt underneath. I'm not making a shirt underneath as I really just want a quick, easy project um, that I can complete in a day. So that's what I'm doing. I definitely think this project can be completed in a day as there aren't very many pattern pieces. So I laid them out and proceeded with getting them cut out. I have only once before made a pair of shorts, but I have never made a pair of trousers. And so I think this will be interesting. I definitely want to get the fit right. The fabric wasn't that expensive, but I did have to wait on the order to come from Mood, and I definitely don't want to waste this fabric, so I want to make sure that I take the steps necessary to get the fit of these pants right, so I pull out my book and get ready to make some alterations. I know the first alteration I want to do is to the length because I want these to hit about my ankles so that way there's room for the strap to be shown. And so I'm taking off four inches and I split that two inches on either side of the alter here line. And I line up that grain line marking to keep the pattern shape intact. Then I decide that I want to take some of the inches out of the crotch, mainly because I don't like when there's too much room in the crotch, but in this case, it's supposed to be that way. So this ends up being a little bit of a problem later. I am here making a mock-up, which I'm very glad that I did. And we'll get back to these pants later. I'm moving on to the blouse now. I did only mock up the pants portion of this jumpsuit because I'm using a stretch cotton and I know that this pattern measurements are in my size. I think I have enough room with the stretch to not have to worry too much about fit. There's like a little bit of room for air with this stretch. So I didn't mock up the top. I just went straight into getting the blouse assembled.
bodice portion of this make was fairly simple and easy to come together. There was a front and a back and then a top and a bottom. And then of course the facing, which I get to later. But first I just had to seam all of those pieces together and it was fairly quick. Um, and that's what I'm doing now. So here's the bodice all sewn together with the facing pinned on. And so now all I have to do is sew all around these edges to get the facing in place, then turn it to the right side and give it a really good press and we'll be moving right along. Oh, here it is. And so my only regrets with this bodice is how some of the polka dots are cut off right at the seam and I didn't even think about this when I was cutting it out but it's something I would definitely pay attention to in the future it doesn't bother me horribly but just enough so my mock-up for the pants came out really good except it was just really unnecessary to take that room out of the crotch and it made it where the pants would not come all the way up I was fine with the length and so I left that alone and I was ready to cut the pattern out of the fabric. I took out the alterations that I made to the crotch seam and just left that alone. And so I pinned the front slacks and the back slacks down to the fabric and proceeded with getting those cut out. And believe it or not, we are still day one of this project. I have never breezed through a project as quickly as this. Granted, I have been working on it all day long it's sunday it is super rainy here in kentucky and we're just chilling in the house and so i've been working on this since about 10 o'clock a.m and by 8 o'clock p.m it was completely finished and so that was definitely a win for me and these pockets end up being a huge win. I can't wait for you to see them on the finished garment. They are a key design feature. And so I was very happy that they came out well and I was able to figure it out. Sometimes I struggle with pockets for some reason. My mind just doesn't grasp the back and forth or whatever. And so I was very pleased that these came out well. I can't wait for you to see them. So trying the trousers on, I wish I had have taken some room out of the crotch, maybe just not the four inches that I was trying to take out before. Maybe even just one and a half or two would have been good, but we'll see how it looks once it's all attached because I know that's going to pull it up some. So here she is all finished. These are those pockets I was telling you about. I'm really, really pleased with how they came out. I think this seam line at the waist came out really good. 
I'm pretty pleased with the straps. The inside stitches could be a, a little better, but I'll get there. And then there is a zipper and authentic vintage hooks and eyes. Um, I had to move this one over a little bit. It messed with the fabric a little bit, but it's fine. And I used an invisible zipper. So the back closing could have been a little bit better, but overall I'm pleased with how it came out. And so now I will try her on for you.